I see red dot. Okay. Okay. Well, that'll make it be better, huh? I actually got a little bit of practice in. Oh, gosh. Brakes! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So I'm here in the We Like Shooting podcast studio yeah and um sean talks me into riding his longboard <laughs> it was questionable for everybody yeah definitely i'm a little old but uh <laughs> I'm, but, I'm older than you I say, I but you're older than me <laughs> so but it kind of got us thinking about closed head injuries because i did not fall that we recorded that we got on video so i had a little bit of a spill yeah yeah so it happens, but kind of what we want to talk about was closed head injuries um, and like maybe touch on concussions, cushions triad, stuff like that. So concussions, have you ever had a concussion? Not that I'm aware of or that I can remember. Touche, I yeah. see what you did there. Um, but I had one when I was younger um, and like my mom took me to the family doctor and the doctor was like, oh, it'll be fine, it's just, it's just a concussion. And I walked around Walmart asking like repetitive questions over and over and over again. Still don't remember that day. Uh, but definitely back when I was younger, Sean was younger, concussions were not thought of as big deals. Yeah, like everyone got concussions. If you didn't have a concussion, you were you were not that cool. Uh, I had one from a car accident, hit the windshield. It was it was really painful that night. Yeah. So now they get more and more like traumatic brain injuries. There's a lot more studies going on that, especially in the military setting, things like that. Um, so first thing, if you have someone who gets knocked out, they lose consciousness, then that's a big deal. Yeah, the tough thing is, is I drank so much whiskey before we did this that I wasn't sure if it was that or the fall that got me. But yes, losing consciousness, that that's when it gets a little bit so dicey. Like, did you pass out before or after the fall? Like that's kind of what you've been trying to think about, like try to question. Yes. Like bystanders, like, hey, did he like pass out and then hit his head or was he like, whatever. So yeah, definitely. Um, Cushion stride. Have you ever heard of that before? I've heard the words. It's like uh, Peter Cushing, didn't he play Dracula in the 30s or something? Yeah, but that was before my time. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I was only 20. Right. So, yeah, you were still drinking whiskey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's when I started. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's kind of like where we can take vital signs and it, nothing we can really do for it, but it helps us understand how critical our patient is. So your patient's blood pressure is going to be higher than normal. So hypertension. So I've seen them in like 170 over 80, you know, 180, 200 range. Uh, the higher the uh, pressure, probably the worse off the patient is. And this is going to be a nervous system uh, reaction inside of our body. Their breathing is going to be irregular. And then their pulse is low. So it's kind of the opposite effect we've talked about with shock. Interesting. That you get the high blood pressure, low or high pulse, low blood pressure for a shock patient. This is the complete opposite now. So you're getting the high blood pressure with a low pulse rate. Uh, so you could look at pupils. Pupils are typically a light sign. Uh, the unequal pupils, things like sluggish reaction. Uh, that's a light sign. But um, look at the helmet. That's another good idea too, is to check out the helmet yeah. to see if it's cracked, to see what it looks like. Uh, but definitely head injuries are serious. They're, they're a big deal. Yeah, so when should somebody, like if a kid or an old man falls on a longboard and hits their head and they do lose consciousness because of the fall, is that like go to the emergency room then? Yeah, I do think they should be checked out. Uh, go to the hospital, uh, get a CT scan, because there's a couple different types of bleeds too we can think about here. You get like the subdural to epidural bleeds. Subdurals are slow, so it means you're longboarding, you fall, hit your head, you think you're fine. Uh, and then three days later, you wake up dead. Yes, yes. I knew what you meant. Yes, which is bad. <laughs> and is then bad. you do have the fast bleeds, and those are usually pretty violent. You know, you're, you fall, you get knocked out, and all of a sudden you're projectile vomiting, and it's, it's a big deal. Uh, but yeah, you should definitely go to the hospital, get checked out, get a CT scan, make sure there's no bleeding going on, and um, think about those options as well. 
I think uh, doing a patient history, mm -hmm. finding out if they are on blood thinners, because that's going to increase your risk of having the head bleed, things like that as well. Especially with that high blood pressure. Yes. That's definitely a stroke possibility, right? Definitely. Yeah, that would make me nervous. Um, TBI versus concussion, are they kind of synonymous? Are they different? Like, how do we how do we decide which is which? It kind of groups it all into one. Like, we can have, you know, a, a concussion, which is just like a bruising on the brain, and then we have the bleeds like we talked about. So there's just, there's multiple areas. And honestly, just from doing a patient assessment, there's not much you can do for, it's like, oh, this is just a concussion. Like, I can't tell you that. Uh, I can take a set of vital signs, and now it gets me thinking which direction it is. Uh, but if you have someone who's hit their head uh, and they get knocked out, they have a severe headache, blurred vision, things like that, they should absolutely get checked out of the hospital. What about bleeding from the ears or other fluid that's kind of coming out from the ears? Yeah, definitely. Uh, take a look at that. Do the halo test, things like that, what you're looking at. Uh, spinal cord fluid leaking out, that, that's never a good sign. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's Christopher Reeves right there. Yes. It's not good. Halo test is where you take a 4x4 and you put it in their ear. You can open it up and you actually see the cerebral fluid and it'll create a halo around the, the blood. You could also check a blood sugar uh, in the ear. Uh, the cere cerebral fluid is higher in glucose, right. so it'll read high on your, or higher on your machine. Dang, that's crazy. So what, what if somebody kind of bumps their head and when do you think they shouldn't go to the ER or urgent care or whatever? Yeah, if, if someone bumps their head and they didn't get knocked out, uh, they're not having any blurred vision, no headache, it's probably okay just to take a look at them and, and wait on it. But I think if you get knocked out, you've got the blurred vision, you're unsteady on your feet, haven't been drinking bourbon, uh, those are definitely some options to look at. And then, you know, we talked about earlier, the taking a history, find out they're on blood, thin, blood thinners, they have heart problems, things like that. So doing a good history, a good physical exam too. Um, you know, the old wise tale, like, oh, they have a bump and it's swing on the outside. Well, that's just an old wise tale too, so. Oh, interesting. And definitely keep an eye out for altered mental state, especially with traumatic brain injuries and things like that. Altered mental state could lead to violence and things like that. And you got to check them sometimes for weapons because, hey, sometimes free gun. Yeah, we've talked about that on our podcast, <clears throat> the Civilian yeah. Medical Podcast. If yeah. you don't subscribe to that, you should do it as well. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we've talked about that. If you get someone altered mental status, I always check for weapons because yeah. I want it to be a fair fight. Absolutely. And sometimes, like I said, free gun. Yeah. Well, that's just like a sig, then. Just let them keep it. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, that's why you left mine when I fell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. That makes sense. It all makes sense now. Uh, all right. I think. Is that about it? Yeah. yeah that's about that, it. That's awesome. So. I they, can't really remember what happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sign. Right. I'm going to get me a free gun now. <laughs> it's a sig. Boo. That'll get so many comments. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, let's start. Wear a helmet. Today we're going to talk about head injuries. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. Why is one pupil like this? I, I don't know. Is that bad? Is your life insurance up to date? Nope. Dang it. Yeah. But we still have time to sign you over as the beneficiary, I think. Done. All right. Just sign here. Perfect. So, guys, welcome to We Like Shooting in <laughs> FFL. Here we go. Oh, man. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Next YouTube channel, Dad Bot Skates. Ha <laughs> ha 